It's time for four jobs as a Danish electrician. And the first customer had these lights in the bathroom that was no longer working. Oh well, they turned on, but not by a lot as you can see. No worries, we fix, we fix. So I removed everything from the shelf and then we could simply pull out the shelf here, hidden inside a little secret driver. Now why the lights weren't working, we really didn't care because we were told to just replace everything. So we got a new driver, we removed the old lights and um, yeah, they were meant to be clicked in, but this had a little screw. That is definitely a little bit strange. By the way, it's the apprentice I have with me on the side. With all of the old lights gone, it was time to pull some wires for the brand new installation. Now all of this was relatively simple, you simply just plug and play with all of this, so it's very nice. Can you just put them in there? Thank you, and then press the button. Here we are. Lovely joffly, Mr. Apprentice, pull back, and then you just click them in place. Come on, you can do it, my big boy. That, uh, oh, there we are. Lovely joffly. But yeah, the driver will not be hidden inside the cabinet because there simply wasn't room, but you simply just smack this back into place, the driver is on top, and now the customer has three brand new lights that are now working. They had another three, but who cares about that video, they are also fixed, and then it's time to go to the next job. Yeah, that's a Danish sound, uh, you non-Danish won't get the reference. But yeah, the next customer have two of these old RCDs. They were technically approved by the test, but I told the customer that we recommend that these are replaced to brand new, more secure ones. So the customer was like, all right, then do that, my boy. The house is from the 1960s and we have a few original cables, but most of them are newer ones. If I want to disconnect from the meter, I can remove this and go in there. But I thought, you know, let me just hit the road. I went by the roadside and found the fuse running into the entire house. Now in Denmark, we use three phases and it's very common for one house to have three times 35 amps so i simply just removed the fuses right here the meter was now dead and with that i could start disassembling everything inside now uh, we had a ton of wires here i marked them all up and then i just started unplugging everything these were the old rcds and i made a little mistake because i just bought the standard model but in the old one the neutral is on the left side and in the new one the neutral is on the right side yeah i should have bought a different model so i didn't need to switch all the wires around but that's how it is in these old houses from the 1960s again it's an old one uh, we have some interesting wires here they are actually newer ones but it's still made a little bit interesting and as you can see there's not a lot of room for your boy holofer here to stand inside Either way, I got the new RCDs in, I got everything all wired up lovely joffly and I put the fuses back in again to turn the power on once again. Then it was time to make sure that the new RCD were working because we don't want them tripping or not working. So the first one worked and we're also testing the second one here. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, we go. Everything was working and it's on to customer number three. Now, customer number three didn't have any power in half of their house and that is, of course, not so good. Customers say when you turn on the circuit breaker, the RCD trips and yep, it surely did trip. So yeah, all right, let's fix it i guess i asked it rather they had any outside light or plugs they did not but i did see two cables in the circuit breaker so i simply removed the one that tripped the rcd there was these two wires right here so let's see why there's no longer power there's only a few places in the house that weren't any power and one of them was this underfloor heating right here it's meant to be flashing red and all sort of funny stuff and yep it's all dead so i simply just disconnected it and without the floor heater the installation worked perfectly and with the floor heater it was very very bad next question is it the heat controller or is it the heating wires running on the ground well it was the wires running under the ground so that is very sad for the customer because we have a ground to live fault meaning yeah they actually have to rip up the entire floor to fix this or they can just have it not working sadly um yep it's an old heating system and that's how it happens sometimes but i just flipped it around and i closed it yet again because now we have power in the house Finally, I just made sure that the RCD was working. It was lovely joffly, and within one hour of coming in to a house without power, there was power everywhere except for the floor heating on one bathroom. Be Final job of the day was this hard starter right here. This is something that's quite common in Denmark. We have placed all the way around Denmark, so yeah, if you have stops, someone can come and get these things either way we needed to plug it in some power i put this wire all the way up here i gave it a little bit of extra length and i simply just plugged it in right here i closed it all up again because yeah we don't want people touching all of that close little thing here now with the cable is running up to this conduit it was red so I just sprayed it gray it looks a little bit nicer and of course it's red on the ground that's what miller matters i painted both of them gray because that looks way nicer the entire installation was meant to be visible so that's what they got and here we have the circuit breakers, and oh my god, that looks very chaotic. At this time, it was the end of the day, so I didn't get too many videos, but I just got the most important one. I tested the RCD because I didn't want that to be wrong. Um, but yeah, we made sure everything was working, and we also put up the name. And uh, yeah, thank you all for watching.